every winter we do have beers coming quite close to the city. Most likely when there, when there's ice on the on the fjords around here, and in the last few years it has not been very much ice because the polar bear they follow the ice. Well, they follow the seals. And there is more polar bears in in Longyearbyen, or well, what's in Svalbard than there are people. We are the um, strangers in a way here because the polar bear there's always been here, you know, for ages, for ages, for ages. Tore Jurasetter is living in one of the last great wildernesses on Earth. Only 600 miles separate Svalbard from the North Pole. Spitsbergen, the biggest island of Svalbard, is completely free of pack ice in August 2008. More open water in the Arctic Ocean seems to be ideal for the hundreds of kittiwakes which come to the coast to breed. From a climate standpoint, more open water translate into warmer temperatures as the dark seawater absorbs sunlight, stores the heat and creates a faster melt-off. While Brunich's guillemots leave their sea ice platform and start their fish hunting, a group of Atlantic walruses has just returned from a feeding foray. They need to rest between diving campaigns, but in the absence of ice, they'll swim to the nearest seashore. The situation is somewhat different for the undisputed king of the Arctic. A polar bear lives on ice all year round and uses it to hunt food and rear its young. From an early age, they learn to be patient hunters. With a keen sense of smell, a bear can sniff a seal from far away. Both hunter and prey have evolved to living in the extreme conditions of the Arctic. A seal is vulnerable on the ice, but once in the water, the bear has no chance to catch its prey. Although the Arctic has experienced warm periods before, the present shrinking of the Arctic sea ice is rapid and unprecedented. The vanishing hunting grounds are an immediate threat for these animals, which know no boundaries. They paddle across the ice from Russia to Alaska, from Canada to Greenland, and on to Norway's Svalbard Island. The main condition, however, is the permanent presence of pack ice. Today, the summer ice loss in the Arctic is equal to an area the size of France, Germany, Spain, and the United Kingdom combined.
As the pack ice retreats north in the summer between June and October, the bears must travel between the ice flows to continue hunting. However, last summer, the ice cap receded about 200 miles further north than the average of two decades ago, forcing the bears to undertake far longer voyages between flows. Scientists have, for the first time, found evidence that polar bears are drowning because global warming is melting the Arctic ice shelf. Their journeys leave them vulnerable to exhaustion and hypothermia. Recent climate change scenarios predict that the Arctic Basin may be void of ice within 50 years. Ice thickness has decreased by 40% and the extent of ice coverage in the polar region has an average annual reduction of over 600,000 square miles. At 80 degrees north, the pack ice is completely crumbled. The great wilderness is rapidly disappearing. Bearded seals are losing their habitat as they need to den in the pack ice. But nature has always adjusted to climate changes. Researchers have already confirmed that the Arctic flora readily adapt to new weather conditions. And what about the fauna? On a beach, a group of sea mammals lays in the sun. Until recently, it was understood that herds of walruses had never been attacked. Driven by hunger, a polar bear observes the herd from a secure distance. If the herd has calves and a majority of females, he can consider to attack. The presence of males, having twice the weight of a polar bear, would be a considerable danger as they can easily drive their ivory tusks at full length into the bear. Not being totally desperate, the bear decides to hunt an easier prey on the ice. The Arctic ecosystem was shaped by climate and continues to be driven by it today. Flora and fauna endure significant changes in becoming adapted to the specific demands of a new Arctic environment. If this wilderness is deemed to vanish, hopefully its inhabitants will find a way to survive.